what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and for today i wanted to do another one of the requests that i got from you guys in the comment section so a few days ago i made a video showcasing a few different teams and a few different characters that you guys can use to make it past odin on chapter 12 8 because i know that's a very difficult stage for a lot of the new players that we currently have coming to the game thanks in part to infinity war now in response to that video i have some of you guys commenting letting me know that you can't even make it past chapter 12 7 and i can definitely see why because surter the fire demon is no joke he's actually very difficult to handle because he can pierce basically every kind of way you would protect yourself in the game so invincibility damage block guard shield you name it he can pierce all of that and in some cases he can even one shot you because he's very very powerful so a lot of newer players are definitely struggling on that and i had some of you guys requesting me make a video very similar to what i did for odin because that video is not really going to help you unless you can get past surter so for today i wanted to show you guys four different characters farmable characters that you can use to make it past surter now in this stage i'm gonna tell you this okay iframes is king because you're losing one of the major ways that you can protect yourself and that is with damage immunity while characters that are incredibly powerful and characters i'll always tell you guys can do everything in the game like sharon rogers can most definitely do this and these are definitely not all the characters that can do it these are just some of the farmable options that i decided to put in today's video there's definitely significantly more characters and stronger characters that can do this stage okay but these are just the ones i decided to put a highlight on today if you guys want to see more options let me know and i will definitely do that for you guys in the future so the first team i want to show you guys is this team right here so gorgon's leadership with phil Coulson for the tier 2 passive and spider-man and you don't necessarily need spider-man in his infinity war uniform even if you use him in his hobo uniform he'll do perfectly fine you're gonna have the same amount of crowd control you're just gonna be losing a little bit of dps but the overall survivability which is all you truly need to complete the stage is definitely still going to be there with the hobo uniform so spider-man in this team is definitely going to be good enough to get it done for you i'll show you guys the build details and then we'll jump right into the gameplay so as you can see this is what my spider-man currently looks like he's in a very good place for me as you can see 121 for attack speed 71 percent for critical rate 195 for critical damage 50 percent for ignore defense and 50 percent for reduce cooldown duration as for his gears guys as you can see everything is at 20 for the first three slots he's rocking two physical attack and two ignore defense and for the last one he's rocking two physical attack and two critical damage skills are all at six rotation here is going to vary but just try to prioritize your iframes regardless of which uniform you are using and you should be fine go with an offense if i associate i'm rocking power of angry hulk overdrive or even hawk side will definitely work if you need the dodge or if you need the skill cooldown and as for the obelisk as you can see i have critical damage critical rate and a 140 proc uniform is currently sitting at heroic and this is one of the best uniforms in the game so i'm definitely going to get this to mythic
All right, guys, so the next team I want to show you here is Gorgon, Phil Coulson, and Angel in place of Spider-Man. So for those of you guys who don't have the uniforms for Spider-Man, go ahead and pick up Angel. Angel will definitely be able to do it, probably even easier than Spider-Man can because you can make a lot more mistakes because in his kit, he has a lot of iframes equal to Spider-Man, to be honest with you. And on top of that, he has healing and freaking damage immunity okay so it's a lot safer to play than spider-man you can make significantly more mistakes without being punished okay so yeah definitely should pick up angel he's probably going to be the easier of the two options and probably the easiest character to use out of any of them that i'm going to show you guys in this video so if you're wondering which one you should most definitely pick up first i would say go ahead and pick up angel but spider-man is definitely a really good character to have on your roster most definitely so as you can see right here 118 for attack speed 45% for critical rate, 145 for critical damage, 45% for ignore defense, and 50% for reduced cooldown duration. As for his gears, you can see for yourself, no oohs on about all guys. So anyone can do this and have him ready just like that as you can see skills are all at six rotation is completely up to you you can use whatever rotation you want the only skill in this kit i would say don't use is the one skill because that leaves you completely open but he can heal so it doesn't really matter go with an offensive iso set power fangry hawk overdrive or even ox eye doesn't matter and as for the obelisk as you can see i have a ctp of refinement this didn't really help me at all clearing this stage because my hp at no point went below 50 percent. so this was basically not even there okay so for any of you guys who are wondering how big of an impact this made in this battle it really didn't make an impact at all so take a look at the clear time for yourself take a look at how easy it was to use angel and then you can make your decision All right, guys, next team I want to share with you guys is this one right here, Red Hulk, Phil Coulson, and Inferno. Who says you can't fight fire with fire, okay? I wanted to do it, and I wanted to show you guys that it is indeed possible, and I wanted to do it with Inferno. I absolutely love this guy in his uniform. He's an absolute beast. Uniform is most definitely required because it fixes the core problem with the character, which is not enough survivability. I'll show you guys how I have him built, and then we'll jump right into the gameplay. So as you can see, 120 for attack speed, 52% for critical rate, 189 for critical damage, 41% for ignore defense, and 50% for reduced cooldown duration. And as for his gear, 
videos guys this is what they currently look like as you can see he's rocking two energy attack on every single slot and those are the only things that are currently amplified as for his skills everything is at six rotation here is going to be something like three into five and then you can go something like two into one into four completely up to you but just keep in mind you can't rely on his guard or his damage immunity because Surtur will pierce and he will try to kill you so be very careful and try to abuse the four skill iframe and the healing that this guy has in the uniform okay he has a heal in this uniform as you can see the uniform is at rare so yeah as for the I so said you can see for yourself power of angry hulk it's a pattern with me it's either power of angry hulk or overdrive but some characters still have um hawk's eye as you can see for the obelisk i'm rocking critical damage fire damage and a 120 proc And for the last team, guys, we are bringing back Gorgon for the lead, Shuri for her tier 2 passive, and we're going to tackle this one with Vulture. For any of you guys who want to know how to farm Vulture very, very easily, make sure you check out my video on how to pull a bio shifter every single time. Because some of you guys may be thinking these are premium characters. Well, they're semi-premium, but I built both Inferno and Vulture for free, and I have a ton of freaking extra bios for both of them actually let me actually check how much i have for this guy how do i even check right here as you can see 444 bios for him and i never use the bio selector on him so yeah definitely very very easy to farm bios for these guys so you don't have to spend any money on them for any of you guys who are thinking that you need to do so okay as you can see right here though this is what his stats currently look like 116 for attack speed 69 percent for critical rate 198 for critical damage we have 50 percent for ignore defense 39% for ignore dodge and 50% for reduced cooldown duration. As for his gears, guys, this is what they currently look like. As you can see, he's rocking two physical attack and two critical rate on every single slot. I can't believe I still have a four star physical attack ooh there i have to upgrade that i've been slacking guys your boy's been slacking rotation here is going to be something like four five and one and that's all you're really going to need with vulture in this uniform you might get clipped a few times because serto is going to try to time it and hit you when you get out of your iframe but you should still be very very safe as you can see right here i'm rocking overdrive and i really gotta get these things to six stars i've been slack king guys big time my vulture is built mainly for pvp so stuff like alliance conquest and timeline battle so i'm rocking invincibility but if you have a damage proc you could get this done significantly faster so ignore dodge critical damage and invincibility for me
it's taking a little while here this guy keeps trying to clip me outside of the iframes but it is what it is man as you can see we got it done and that is all i have to share for this one guys like always thank you so much for watching hope it was informative and if you want to see more videos like these ones don't forget to let me know in the comments till next time boys thanks for watching peace out